Parades have been a popular way for teachers to keep in touch with their students during the stay-at-home order. News 3's John Ross takes us to one rural community where school staff traversed every single bus route to cheer on their kids. New and grade school's whole purpose behind today is actually to celebrate our students, to encourage our students, to motivate our students, and to show them that we love and care about them. Staff of all kinds loaded up in three different buses and some in their personal cars to deliver a message to each student of Ewing grade school. Uh, the teachers and the administration and staff are loading up on the bus routes. They are driving by every single student's home and cheering and um, getting out and putting in a yard sign that says, um, you know, Ewing Warrior proud. Every week we've done something to help motivate and engage our students. And so this parade is actually one of those pieces. The message of motivation comes after weeks of separation from their students and a lot of hard work. As far as communication and reaching out, um, they've been doing everything that they can, electronic communication, um, paper communication, if that's not available. They've been thrown into this pandemic as, with us as well, but overcoming adversities of trying to distance learn and figure that out, but to roll it out seamlessly and just in you know, such a short turnaround time, we personally didn't feel like we missed a beat. We had packets, we had things to do with our kids. Both parents and staff say that they're thankful for the educators in and out of their community. I'm just proud of education in general for their hard work and dedication, especially Ewing grade school teachers. <laughs> Reporting in Ewing, John Ross, News 3. School principal, you just saw her there, Kristen Ng, says May 1st was the date they had originally planned on returning to school. So this is their way of encouraging students to finish the year out strong from home. 